The City Council plans that by 2030, Edinburgh will have a carbon neutral inclusive public transport system with good accessibility and affordability, all leading to better air quality and making Edinburgh a leading global city for people to live and work. We asked Council Leader Adam McVeigh how he plans to do it. I think we're going to do it by, first of all, asking people what the appetite is for some of that change. So asking people what the appetite is for public transport. I think there's a huge amount of people in this city who currently drive who don't want to, who would rather that an accessible, uh, easy, sustainable public transport option was right for them. So it's about working with public transport providers. It's about enhancing the coordination between public transport operators so that integrated ticketing, which we already have seen on loading buses services, can be expanded onto other modes to enable people to make those choices. But it's also about, I think, serious investment. It's about investing in our public space in the city centre. It's about investing in cycle uh, networks. It's about investing in high capacity public transport. And that's exactly what we're doing with the tram extension to New Haven right now. And I'd envisage the city taking further decisions on that, just like we've safeguarded the line to grant and some of these things come into fruition. It's also about working with our neighbours because there is a lot of traffic generated from out with the city that our residents have to deal with. So it's about working with our neighbours to try and find sustainable ways that people can travel into the city. That's about cycling, it's about uh, bus, but it's about also building the infrastructure that's right for a region. And that's why we'll also be working with partners on things like park and rides that would be serviced by bus companies to enable us to really build the infrastructure that enables people to make the right choices. And given that this is a consultation and these are not yet plans, when are we likely to see the first batch of change? I think we're already seeing change in the city that, that mirrors very much what we're putting forward uh, in our strategy. We're seeing direct cycle routes being built with the enhanced cycleways being taken forward along the tram route in Leith Walk with the Roseburn line in the west of the city, giving people sustainable transport alternatives and other lines being taken forward and crucially connected in. So I think we've already seen an, an enormous amount of work in this space. What our strategy does is articulates work that's been happening already, projects it out for the next 10 years and asks people if they can come with us on this journey because we need buy-in from people. We need people to come along with us. And when we consulted on the city centre transformation, one of the biggest, boldest pieces of policy change that this council has put forward. Four and a half thousand people responded to that consultation, 85% of them backing a bold vision for our city centre, a people dominated city centre rather than a traffic dominated city centre. So we know there's appetite out there. This is about articulating the action points that we'll need to get us to where we need to be in 2030 if we're to be a net zero carbon city and really asking people to come along with us on that journey and where people might have other ideas about how we could make that model shift.